So here is Eton uh, at his first recognized beginner novice. He's done a couple of schooling shows, but this is his first big event. So I am uh, getting him prepared here for going into the dressage ring. It's pretty handy to be able to take advantage of some of the whiteboards outside like this so you can get some good relaxation and now I feel like he is ready to go on down the center line so I'm gonna head to the imaginary letter X which is in between E and B and then I head over to M make sure I can get him into the corners here and he's being pretty good he's working on staying steady trying not to let him get too low in the pole so uh, working on getting him to engage from the hind leg you see he just wants to drop a little bit in the frame but he's staying pretty nice and consistent Now I'm going to prepare him for the canter transition. She does that really nice. And he feels just a little tight. So that's where you can see he came above the bit for just a smidge. But then he does a pretty nice circle. He has a very nice cadence and rhythm to uh, the canter. And coming into our down transition. And now we do the working walk over to HXF, which is now our free walk. So you want to give them uh, a loose rein and try to get the horses to really swing through their body and get a really nice overstep. You can't really see from this camera angle but he's doing a good job walking in a nice straight line. Sometimes the greener horses can tend to get a little drunk when you're doing the free walk and they'll wiggle but he did that pretty well. And back to our working walk and then we pick up the trot at K. It's a little delayed on that but that's okay he was kind of thinking about canter maybe so I just kind of made sure my legs stayed even he's just anticipating and getting him to trot forward and he has a bit more suspension than Y does Y is a bit flatter mover and then going into the canter. He just picked up his edge just a smidge. Then working on getting him to go forward. And does that pretty good. I'm really pleased with how nice and quiet his mouth has become. And he's really trying for me. So now we're almost done. We finish up with doing the K to X and then we're going to halt at G through the walk. So I ask him and he did a really good job. Super pleased, very solid test and the judge reward us with a great score of a 25. So super happy with Eton with how well he uh, did in the dressage. Now on to the show jump and you can see the judges box has a hanging plastic thing on there due to COVID obviously uh, and he did a really good job of walking right past that but I wanted to make sure I could get him in this corner. Again this is kind of like the spookier corner and I wanted to let him take a little tour uh, with the fan jumps and everything. 
And I'm just waiting on the judge to blow the whistle. So then I can start my course. And then going and picking up the canter. Heading to the first fence. With Eton, he really feels more secure if I kind of lean really far back. And then coming to fence number two, he starts to give a good look at those little signs there. Just gets a little nervous, catches it with the front legs. Same with this one. I was like, all right, buddy, come on. And then coming to fence number three, he goes, oh, yeah, I remember. It's just when he gets nervous and tightens up his back and then he gets a little low in the front. So it's just something we've been working on. He has a really good hind end behind. Of course, he's cross cantering here, but that's okay. Don't doesn't really bother me when they do that. And he wants to take a little trot step. I just try to make sure I stay back behind and soft and giving with my hands. Just does a little spook there at the judge's box. He gave that plenty of space. And now coming to the double. Again, this is a set as a two stride, but it tends to get a little awkward for the little guys. And now coming to the last two fences. He starts to kind of settle in in a nice rhythm. Gives that a really good jump. And finishes up really well. Super pleased with how he kind of finished up the course. And we ended up having those two rails, which pushed us back to sixth. But overall, I was super happy with how he did and handled himself. Every outing with him, he gets better and better and more relaxed. And he's come a long way from the scared Eton from last year. Now on to a cross country and I'm here at the uh, start box and they're counting me down. <laughs> Eton did a little spook there That's where he thinks something's behind him but nothing's behind him. Then we head into the box it's a little nervous, but that's okay. He's starting to kind of understand it's okay if he gets nervous. Uh, and he's at least not going and bolting anymore. So headed to the first fence. Pretty happy to be out on course. Jumps the second fence. He has a very cute expression. And now coming to fence three. So this has the kind of teeth looking paint on it so I wanted to slow down let him trot it and stay back behind him from the last time we were at Ocala that tend to spook him a little bit and uh, he was very confident over that and then heading to fence four again I'm gonna stay really back behind him he was a little unsure but I just gave him a little bit of encouragement and he went on Now heading to fence five, which is again the kind of that alternating birch color. And that's caught him before, but I want to stay back behind him, slow it down, let him see it. And he jumped it great. He really feels like he's pretty happy and confident. And so now we're heading to our next fence, which is like a mulch type table, which uh, several horses were spooking at and had stops at. Coming to that, and he jumped that really lovely, right out of stride. And then coming to fences 7A and B, which again were kind of some funky colored, and I wanted to make sure that he saw it and felt positive to it. It's a little hard to see through the trees here, but he really gave it no worry. And he was funny because I was, could tell him, come on, Eton, you can gallop a little bit. Because he actually does have a nice little gallop. And 
And now I'm going to be heading towards the ditch. Which again, uh, most of my most of the Mustangs and experience I've had, they tend to not worry too much about ditches. Except for Rune. Rune thinks there's uh, trolls in there, but Eton really doesn't think too much of them. And then heading to the next. He does a good job there. You can see he's a little bit different than why I can ask him to kind of go forward. Meanwhile, why I was having to pull on the whole time. But I'm really liking how he's keeping his balance up. So that's allowing me to just let him kind of canter on down to the fence. And now we're heading to what's called the shark's tooth. Which again, this tends to be a little bit of a spookier jump for them. But uh, we've been practicing over that. So he jumped that pretty confidently. And heading to the water. Does a nice lead change. Jump that really well. And I just asked him to kind of trot on through the water. Again, we had to keep going. We had an optimum time of 4.41. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't get any time faults. Now we have two jumps left. Again, I'm really liking the balance that he has now. Coming to the last fence. He jumped that really well. Probably the biggest thing he looked at were the skeletons right there in the chair in the decoration. But super pleased with him. He had a nice clean round. And we moved up into fifth place uh, for his very first big recognized horse show. Super pleased with Eton.